Autonomous drone delivery could finally be coming to your front door. New technology and shifting regulations are shaking up an industry that processes 21 billion packages each year. In 24 hours, we can show up, install the infrastructure, and then you turn any window or hole in the wall into a magical portal. One company's leading the way, marking the first autonomous flight without a human observer. A feat made possible with a rare exemption from the FAA. All of this has been a race to bring you your food and medicine at a lower cost and faster pace. I'm Akiko Fujita here in Half Moon Bay, California, and this is what's next in drone deliveries. Launching yeah. zip line six zero four in three, two, one. Go ahead and push the button. Wow! <laughs> 45 minutes outside of San Francisco, Zipline co-founder Keller Ronaldo Clifton is taking drone delivery from this... Actually backspinning the propeller. <laughs> There's a the delivery. <laughs> ...to this. Zipline's latest drone, known as Platform 2, never actually touches the ground. It hovers 300 feet above in near silence. The droid Insight makes the drop to secure delivery. We're lowering this, uh, dr we call the droid. The droid is what's controlling its position in X and Y axis, and then delivering in a very, very precise, gentle, and silent way directly to a customer's home. This is 24 donuts that we can actually load here, if you like. That's um, quite the order. Yeah, so why don't you do two okay. of them, and I'll do two. But you can fit them in there. Exactly. Just close it off. And we can close this. Exactly. You click a button on an iPad, and it's automatically shipped. It's a vision the world first heard about from Jeff Bezos. These are uh, effectively drones, but there's no reason that they can't be used as delivery vehicles. Zipline first began drone deliveries in 2016, building a vast network for medical supplies in Rwanda. Today, they're delivering one package every 70 seconds. Zipline, one, two, two, three, three, two, one. Now the company's making history. In November, Zipline became the first aircraft to fly beyond the visual line of sight autonomously. It came after the FAA granted Zipline and three other firms a rare exemption, removing a long-standing rule that required drones to operate within sight of drone operators. I think for commercial drone deliveries, it's, it's really everything. If you want to have lots of deliveries and really make a business out of this. You know, how many operators are you gonna try to have chasing drones around here and there? So it really is kind of the tipping point for this market to be able to develop. In fact, labor makes up roughly 95% of existing drone delivery costs. Take out human observers, and McKenzie says you've got a reliable and cheaper alternative to standard delivery vans. Having an automated system that can deliver those things in a way that is 10 times as fast and half the cost is going to seem so incredibly obvious. So I'm thinking about what is available to customers today. You've already got same-day delivery. You've got a DoorDash, Grubhub, any food delivery within an hour. Within an hour, exactly. What does this give us? So this gives you really within five or 10 minutes. We call it instant delivery today, but an hour is actually pretty slow. You kind of see the inevitable march, right? This idea of using a human driving a three to 4,000 pound gas combustion vehicle to deliver something that weighs five pounds, it will seem crazy that we solve the problem in that way. It, it will be very, very obvious to people that this is a problem that requires a level of scale and automation and zero emission technology that can only really be executed like this. Zipline's new system doesn't require a warehouse to launch the drones. Each docking station can be built into any business, so it's customized for each company. We can install the technology onto any wall. So whether it is a retail store or a hospital or primary care facility or even a restaurant, in 24 hours we can show up, install the infrastructure, and then you turn any window or hole in the wall into a magical portal. This is a prototype version. This is a tester of the dock. So this black dock you see there is what the actual zip can, can dock into and out of when it's picking up a delivery. That's intended to make adoption seamless. 
Each aircraft can travel within a 10-mile radius and carry up to 8 pounds, the equivalent of two medium pizzas and a soda. The company has already signed nearly a dozen partnerships with deliveries set to land in 2024. So you could compare this to, uh, to something like an autonomous vehicle that's on the road today, but, uh, but we fly through the air. Zipline faces plenty of competition, with Amazon's Prime Air and Alphabet's Wing attempting precise on-demand delivery. There's also a handful of other startups looking to race ahead with renewed interest from venture capital. It's here inside Zipline's factory where we get a glimpse of just how the company hones its craft. This whole system is designed in a modular fashion. This is something that, that really helps us ensure that we are able to have an incredibly high reliability service. This is testing a very key part of our next generation system. This wire has to be able to descend 100 meters and carry the weight of the smaller aircraft plus the payload that's inside of it all the way down and all the way up. Yeah. I've heard the company say many times that you're looking for dinner plate precision. Yes. Why is that important? There are many different sources of obstacles and backyards. What we're aiming for is plus minus half meter accuracy. And what that means is that anyone who has even a narrow walkway leading up to their house has a place that we can deliver to. The mics attached to the wing are key to safety. They serve as listening devices for any interference in the air. What do you use this tight space for? Yeah. So we are inside of a wind tunnel. We've been developing this microphone technology that allows us to listen for other aircraft and avoid them. That's critical because air traffic control doesn't have the network and technology to track drones in real time yet. Zipline manages their own fleet. The company plans to introduce its drone technology to as many as 15 cities in the U.S. by 2025. By 2026, Zipline hopes to expand across the country. We're just at the beginning. I mean, yeah. you're, you're, you're seeing, you know, it's 12.01 a.m. when it comes to this kind of technology. We will look back on in 10 years, and I'm sure, you know, so much of this, it will seem you know, mind-blowing given how far the technology has evolved.